bony factor responsible for maintenance of carrying angle is so what is that bony factor which prevents the collapse of carrying angle think this way now here you seeing is the lower end of humerus the anterior view and this one is the posterior view so in the anterior view you are seeing that there is the lower end is the condylar and laterally it's this capitulum and medially it is this trochlea and on the two sides you have is the lateral epicondyle and the medial epicondyle medial is more prominent and one thing you should appreciate here that this medial flange of trochlea is more dipping down by around 6 mm remember this important point similarly you see in the posterior view that this medial flange of trochlea this is more dipping down than the lateral flange of the trochlea and you know that the ulna fits into this trochlea so because of this dipping down of the medial flange of the trochlea ulna gets deviated on the lateral side and that is the bony factor which is responsible for the maintenance of this carrying angle and therefore one thing more you can conclude from here is that this point 6 mm more dipping down of the medial flange of the trochlea is also a factor which helps in sexual dimorphism of humerus because you know in females the carrying angle is more right so the reason is that the medial flange of the trochlea is more dipping down in females got it similarly you can see here in this image also this is the posterior view of the lower end of the left humerus so here you seeing is that the medial flange of trochlea is very much more dipping down right this shows that this is the bony factor responsible for the maintenance of the carrying angle i've got some more images for you now look here in this image you are seeing clear cut is this the axis of the elbow which is a transverse axis passing below to this lower end of the humerus touching the medial flange and the capitulum and there's a longitudinal axis of the humerus as well so the angulation formed on the two sides of this long axis of the humerus you find is angle a and angle b which angulation is more is this angle right so that's the reason here that this long axis of the ulna gets deviated on the lateral side and there is formation of this angle called the carrying angle and this dipping down is more because here this medial flange of the trochlea is more dipping down by approximately 6 mm now here you seeing in the rest of the image focus on this c image the c1 this is when there is the long axis of humerus and long axis of the ulna they are in the same alignment so when you flex the elbow you will find the forearm reaches just in front of the humerus in the upper image now this is the normal position actually where this medial flange is dipping down and because of that the long axis of the ulna is deviated on the lateral side and therefore when you flex the elbow in such condition your forearm will be tilted laterally on flexion so this is called cubitus valgus now in another condition when you seeing that this lateral side is elevated and this is dipping down right so if there is more of the size of a capitulum and the medial flange is less dipping down so because of more of the size on the lateral side the ulna now gets deviated towards the medial side and when you flex such an elbow the forearm will flex towards the medial side such a deformity here is called cubitus varus and this one the normal one actually normal is only up till 14 to 15 degrees but if it's more and beyond that like 20 degrees somewhere so that means there's more of angulation of the ulna laterally and that such a condition is called cubitus valgus okay now here you are seeing what i told you before 
this is the normal angulation around 15 degrees this is less in males and more in females now in cubitus valgus you are seeing this angulation is increased while in cubitus varus you are seeing that there is a decrease in the carrying angle the ulna instead it's you know shifted medially and this angulation formed laterally this is the angulation formed here so have you understood this bony factor responsible for maintaining of the carrying angle is medial flange of trochlea